Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll talk about a kit from Flames of War. It's called Panzergrenadier Platoon, Late War. It's a German unit. The box number is JBX169. I did unboxing a few days back and uh, that was an unboxing of what it looked like when I opened the box and I pretty much opened the box uh, right in front of the video. So my first impression was right there. I didn't uh, took the time to really look at it before. So that would be painting and a final review on this video. On this video. So first of all, about painting. Here's a problem I had: is I try to paint each color and make a video about and make a small video about it, but it seems like my camera have difficulty to focus on the soldier I was painting and it was quite often out of focus or changing focus, focus on it so I was not really able to make really neat clear video about it so it's something I have to think about it how to present and how to prepare the camera and the angle so I can make a better video on my next video of painting soldiers regardless of that what I decide is to take a pictures of the final projects when it's all paint so I decided to make a little photo montage of all the soldiers. In the description below, the uniform and the equipment would be marked with the company and color used to paint the soldiers. And this is pretty much part one. On the second part of this video, it's all about a final review. It's nice when you unbox, you, oh, it's all good, it's all good, look good, all look great, it's all brand new, so it looks superb. But while you paint, you start to find the good and the bad on this kit. So my part two of this video, it's all about the good and the bad of the Panzergrenadier Platoon from Flames of War. On my first video about the Panzergrenadier Platoon 10 infantry teams from Flames of War, it's a German late war uh, kit, the box number JBX169, I was talking about in general what looked like the content when you open the box now that i finished to paint i can see many questions that everybody should raise or keep in mind when they decide to purchase this kit first of all they give you three command sprue and when you look at it there's one here there's one guy left. The second, there's three. And the third screw, there's four guys left. So what we got in that spruce, if you remember, is... We'll take the most here. Is we have here the two part missing. His Panzer Shrek team. It's the Panzer Shrek with his loader. Then we have two officers, one radio operator, one NCO. Now, when you make your command team, you need one officer, two NCO, or one officer, one NCO, one radio operator, or you have one officer, one Panzer Faust, and one NCO. So basically, in the command team, where you should find a Panzer Faust, there's none, but you have two, you have a team of Panzer Shrek each time. So when you want to create your Panzer Grenadier Platoon late war, that includes three Panzer Shrek team, one officer with two NCO for command, or one officer, one NCO, and one Panzer Faust. So definitely here, there's a lot of soldier that's good for you if you intend to do anything with it but if you buy two box of Panzer Corinthian platoon and want to create your company there's no issue you got enough officers to create your HQ command but when it's time to build and use the, the Panzer Grenadier and use the infantry that goes with it I'm going to zoom out a bit right here. 
you can see there's a lot of leftover. That's one team, one spruce of two, and that's the second spruce of two. So almost a full spruce is left. When you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three guys. And you have how many left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 guys. So you get a full sprue, sprue not used. So what's the reason for that? Basically, you can see right away that you have one pencil files, two pencil files, three pencil files and extra. On this sprue, you get the fourth one, fifth one, six, seven pens of files and extra. I don't understand why Battlefront did not decide to put the pens of files with the command, anyway, it's a command soldier, and put the pens of Shrek on the sprues. You could have put two pens of Shrek team per sprue. And you will still have plenty available. So that will give you four pens of Shrek team. That is not that bad overall when you think that you got presently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pens of files and extra. So that's the biggest issue I have with that kit right here when the description of soldier. Also, the other problem I have too is each through here as one officer and we can see here there's one officer and the other spruce has one two and one nco and so you got two spruce with two officer two nco technically you need three nco so you could have removed that officer there and put an nco instead so that will like, give you two teams you need three teams with NCO, and that will add give you three teams with NCO and one NCO extra. Right now, because of the NCO I have here and here, I got some NCO of extra. And you get an officer here that is wearing the long German black boots, while everybody else uses gaiters over their boots. And then in regard of the MG42, but the good news is there's three team per spruce and you need six teams so you complete it. You get a lot of MG uh, K98. Is it the K98? You get a lot. I think it's K98, but rifleman, you got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen riflemen extra. It's not that bad because if you decide to convert that as a grenadiers and set of Panzer grenadiers, you get enough K98 or eight riflemen to make at least three teams, and you got your Panzer grenadier or grenadier team a platoon complete with those crew. So basically, this is one thing I haven't mentioned during the unboxing, but when you start to paint, you start to see issues and what's wrong with the kit. You find it, when you open it, oh, that's great, there's lots of stuff, it looks great, but at the end, it's like, okay, for example, the pencil files, they got this guy that way, you got that one holding the pencil files over his shoulder with his rifle there. You get the third, third version. So you get different version, three or four version of pencil files. That's not got that bad. The NCO, all the same. You get two officers like this. So there's a good variety of infantrymen too, as well. So it's not that bad. They try to make it like a bit more 
life look we can see where there's different options different guys and different. so when you look at your team they are not look alike same pose on the table so it's not too bad next issue i have with this kit uh, that one is more like why so many of one stuff that you don't need and so on maybe i don't know later on they intend to bring the german unit to a next level with different equipment or different team composition that's my you know, scene and they have already those proofs like that otherwise people who thought about that doesn't know anything about the army or doesn't think much and doesn't understand the battlefront teams because otherwise he will not let so many waste now when you look at the uh, at the soldier itself on the sprues they look pretty good they try to make it different but you get issue like this one guy i will try to make it you can see it but when you look in the back because they try to make it with the tin, uh, the canteen tin on the back it's really difficult to uh, to zoom in you can see there's a lot of there's a big gap it's like really what were you thinking when you thought about that one I tried this way okay so when you look at it what do you think about that it's like uh, you try to paint that it's really look bizarre having said that and that guy who thought about those one already doesn't know much about the army how they work the army have a concept everybody look alike in their uniform everybody is the same so when you look at them it fit so that tin or mess tin should be on the back or should, to make it more fluent and more look alike uh, nicely now you get a hole in the back here because of uh, air bubble and you don't much you don't see much of uh, the bread bag you don't see much of uh, entrenching tools you don't see much of a uh, so everything is gapped together really ugly could have been way more fit having the tin on top in the middle of the shoulder and everybody should be the same when you're in the army you know that everybody have the equipment placed at the same place for every soldier not like this i know that better friends think they gotta be smart look cool look different option but not that good who else is a bit like that or oh, is that a bit another big one you got that mg42 with those uh, canister ammunition really great look good how come then is a loader carrier uh, ammo carrier got a sling of ammo obviously he used canister not a sling really bad not too impressed with better front for that also the army if you have a mg42 with canister ammo everybody in the platoon will have the same kind of ammunition to carry around not him with the canister and everybody with the sling it make pretty difficult for bringing ammunition to the front when you have different ammunition for the same weapon so we, better functional that kept the same you have canister for the mg everybody have canister and there's no more sling i know it look cool but doesn't look real on the positive not notes here's a good one at least i have to give him this one thumbs up i'm gonna have to paint that guy the bread bag doesn't seem to be painted. Page camo. 
here's a good definition of the equipment you can see the bread bag you can see the water bottle there's no mess tin in the back that's a flaw everybody should have one and you have this belt with the pouch you have that guy who carry the ammo for the pencil shrek he got his weapon that's a good thing but then in the back you you got everything except the mess tin but otherwise it looked pretty good so i'm quite happy with those two guys Patrick France did a good job with those those people. Next guy we can see is this one. Why there's absolutely nothing? It looks like a it looks like there's a cat, uh, ammo box here on this on this side, and then. Uh, on the side, it looks like it's a flat with nothing except his uh, gas mask. I can understand that the MG is in the in the back there, so it moved that. But yes, I know for that. But overall, I can see that it's a big flat here. There's not that much sense about it because you can see his arm. It's going from here to here, so there's a lot of loss. Technically, that weapon should be a bit higher against his arm here while he walk. And there's a big flaw here too, so not too good for that that guy here. Here's that rifleman. Not too bad. Also, you got this. He's a good, it's a good guy. He could look good. He got his poncho. He got his uniform. He has his, uh, like a, a tarp or a, a blanket. He has his uh, gas mask, his bread bag, and his water bottle. But technically, it's a, you can say it is a, a blanket or is poncho. If he has his poncho roll, then he should not have his poncho because he had it roll compared to, which one I can say? This guy, for example. He got his poncho roll, so he's wearing his uh, Felgro uniform. You can see his bread bag, you can see his uh, gas mask and this mess tin right there look good what doesn't look good is this legs here but he should have also with him his entrenching tool everybody should have his uh, entrenching tools i don't think if it's during the war a soldier will not have his entrenching tool with him definitely he will have it he know his life depend on the capacity to go ground. He got his little uh, grenade here and grenade. It's not too looking good. <clears throat> so there's not much, but just little details like that make it eh, kind of good. No entrenching good tools. Not that, but for the rest, it looked pretty nice for this kit. His legs here could be a bit better. It's like here, it's all flat. So you can see much, but you can do what you can. So if you have your puncher roll, then you should be wearing the figure uniform. And when you have the puncher, puncher, you should not have it roll on your back. It's one or the other. So if you have your puncher on, you don't have it in the back compared to some. Let me try to find one. See, he doesn't have his poncho, but he's not wearing it. Well, what's wrong with that? So when you go and you start to paint those guys, <coughs> sorry, 
you find there's a lot of flaw they try to make it cool make it unique but you find yourself with a lot of little not really problem but if you never been in the army or don't know much about the army how they work and how they function you look hey look at that i got 10 guys and they all look different but when you look at the soldier point of view you got 10 guys they should be wearing the same thing that mean it's standard in the army you should everybody should have it entrenching entrenching tools should be there the tin uh, mist tin should be there the water bottle should be there etc you got the idea on that so if you some have some doesn't doesn't make too different it just make lack from battlefront of understanding how army works there was one more thing i want to show you oh that was an entrenching tool it looked like more of a i don't know how i can say what it looked like but definitely doesn't look like a, an entrenching tool but again some have it some doesn't have it so it's really bad so that's what it is about this kit that i question a bit better front of uh, the meaning of spruce that I have uh, lots of pens of files instead to put it with the command put all the officers on the command sprue you will probably have saved a lot of plastic there or I'm wrong and battlefront down the line you're gonna use the same sprues to create a SS unit with pens of files for everybody every team I don't know maybe so we'll see